everyone, welcome to the Tuesday or let's say Monday Tuesday Fun Bridge Point tournament with match point scoring. But before we start playing, let's have a quick look what's happening in the bridge clash uh, with the second edition. I managed to get through the round five and will be playing round six. You can watch on my channels uh, all the matches. Well, besides uh, the round two, which I was not recording, uh, but yet plenty of rounds uh, in front of us for the win. And uh, wait, this is uh, where we get the results. So this is the tournament table. So round six, round seven, and then round 64. So that would be 120. Eight. So 256 players advanced to round six. So see, still a couple of players there, but we are getting closer and closer. But to win and to get to the finals, uh, it's still a very long journey. So let's see if I get uh, lucky enough to pull it through. Cross fingers and you can watch uh, my challenges on uh, my YouTube channel. But now let's play 10 boards with match point scoring. We have 304 players registered so far, five diamonds price, which is basically for nothing. So let's go. Two spades double, take out four spades. Wow, okay, so Suddenly we have a balanced hand, so we might have a problem here with, with a doubleton if partner has a doubleton. Yet partner take out doubles, we have 10 high card points, partner promised an opening hand. So opponent's jump to four spades is usually based on shape and that can actually put a singleton in par our partner partner's hand in spades. We've got a hard fit. Suddenly even the slam might be possible. If partner has singleton spade, four face of hearts, four clubs king queen and ace of diamonds. Well, I need a bit more. Anyway, this is 13 count. 5 4 3 1 with five clubs that would work. So what about the defensive tricks? If we have a nine card fit, I expect to win only one hard trick, one club and how you count it if partner promised like three honor tricks then uh, four spades probably goes two down and two down is 300 while five hearts is potentially 450. Um, yet it all depends if partner has a singleton and i will bet that partner has a singleton there is still a chance First, the partner bids six hearts, and second, that they would bid five spades over five hearts. So let's have a look. I've got my free key cards. Okay, that's a singleton, and that's a wonderful lead. Okay, yet it's still not easy. Like this 14 count, and partner bids six hearts. This is the hand what partner promised. But this solves the club situation, so I have one discard. Yet I need the King of Diamonds to be on, and I'm not very optimistic about that. Wait. If I draw two rounds and the Diamond Finesse is not on, I'll lose two spades. It's not good. If I don't draw trumps, this is match points. So um, this bidding will probably happen at a lot of tables. So I don't want to go down twice because the club pretty much looks like a singleton. So if I play the diamond finesse and I lose, they can get a club rough. Not good. Hmm. Hmm. 
<laughs> because if I cash the clubs and discard the spade, I end up north. And if the king of diamonds is on side, I can make 13 tricks. So this is where match points is quite tricky. So, <laughs> who's got a free card? It looks like East, playing high low in hearts, have an even shape hand, and he's likely to have four spades, two hearts only, five clubs, and two diamonds. I will bet that the king of diamonds is on because West most likely have 6 3 3 1 with singleton club. I can actually cash the club just in case to see. Okay, now I saw what I didn't want it to see. Oh, it, it works. Discard the rest. 13 tricks and a great start. Wow, this was so lucky. I mean, the club lead helps. The diamond king is on side. Works, works nicely. 82%, a top score and a great start. See, like making 980 is only 55% because the majority of players ended up in six hearts. And that's the difference between match points and imps. In imps, you just want to make no matter what. Okay, 12 count, 4 4 majors. But this might be on the edge, actually. Um. We're missing some aces, we might miss the tempo. So free no trumps might not be better because we can actually steal one extra trick with the diamond rough, but most likely because of the tempo, four spades is better. And two, three, four, five, two third rounds. Uh, slam can be there only if we are very lucky and we need three aces from partners. So four spades sounds like a good contract two stoppers in diamonds four six <coughs> seven eight hmm three no trumps looks quite good what do I need I actually prefer to play on hearts. Okay, now I just need uh, one heart rough. That's it. Draw the trumps. No club rough. Ah, should I have drawn at least like two rounds? This is a disaster. Okay, well, they will not let me claim. Now they will let me claim. We've got the winners. Yeah, if I just draw two rounds of trumps and then play hard. Okay, this was a costly mistake. Although, can you call that a mistake? Because you just don't expect clubs to break 5-1 when both of our hands are balanced. See, this guy has 6-4. 21, 650 is 65. See, Freno Trumps is not better unless you get lucky. And definitely you can get lucky by club lead. It's like super lucky. And now you get all the tempo in the world. Even after the diamond, you have all the tempo. So Freno Trumps is actually better. That's life. Ace King in diamonds makes it. No diamond lead. They split 6-2, two aces on the wrong side, so free no trumps 
ended up better. Uh, hard to predict. Anyway, 15 count, 5 4 2 2. Uh, unfortunately, the doubleton honor actually in hearts um, blocking the suit for potential free no trump contract. So I prefer to open this one spade, but I guess uh, some players will actually be at no trumps. Uh, our hand is better in a trump contract. And if Barton has singleton spade, five diamonds, I need ace and a king. Potentially two aces and I, I can make a slam. So... Three no trump is a potential, but I hope to get the spade drafts. I kind of feel that Barner has singleton spade here. Why would you bid with hearts and club stoppers? Why would you bid three diamonds and not two no trumps? So I'm going to bid five diamonds here. I'm not doing it often. This is the feeling thing. The feeling got wrong. Four small diamonds. Um. <laughs> uh, in which world is this free diamonds? Why not two no or the best probably free spades with a doubleton? At least I reached the game. It can be there. I just need the spade finesse and the club to be on. Okay, club is on. That actually is the good sign that the king of spades might be on. Uh, yet still I need to rough the club and rough the heart, so I prefer to play the spade finesse first and probably cross rough the hand. Two of spades. They might be 5-1, but I expect 3-3. Three, three. Okay, drawing trumps, making it. And that can actually be good because three no trumps is no good. They have three clubs, diamonds. Okay, three no trumps is good, but not better. Because you have only nine tricks. And potentially it can go wrong, so yeah, I think this could be a pretty good score. Yet, I'm I'm not very happy about the free diamond bid. I wonder if I bid free hearts, what would partner do? 74%. And the reason for that is reaching the game. But you see, only one other player played in five diamonds. Otherwise, everybody plays in three no trumps. For the sword contracts five diamonds one went down three players four players reached five diamonds well I think that this was like a pretty standard bidding to five diamonds let's see in the diamond contract behind me in the graph a lot of players made only eight to ten tricks that's surprising because we have just Count of 11 from top because the club and the spade is on side. So you just need to play towards the honors whenever you want to catch an opponent honor or whenever you want to score a lower honor than opponent's one, then you need to play behind opponents, not the first, preferably not the second seed, the best on the fourth seed, uh, the third seed is. What do we need when uh, we are forced to play first? Pretty standard bidding. You just show the hand. Partner made the decision. Uh, all is kind of good. Spades are fine. So the only thing what I need to do is actually rough the clubs. And what I can do is to discard this will probably not go through 
to discard two clubs on spades and I can rough several so I can try to establish diamonds actually because the diamond I have to lose okay we are back on Seems like I need to unblock. That would be super sad if they rough. Please. Okay, they split. So this is actually very good. Now I can discard both clubs. And I can try to end play them. To give me the last trick. Eight. Eight and a king. Okay, so this this solves the problem of having a chance to score the king of clubs. And now with the diamond, this guy play an eight. Can he have doubleton ace? He would jump. He might have doubleton ten. Okay. If it is not a doubleton ace, I couldn't do anything. Yeah, ace ten fourth. Nothing I could do there. They could cash two clubs and a diamond. So hopefully this will be above average. But otherwise pretty standard score. Seventy and a half. Wow. Okay, there are thirteen players who managed to steal even extra one trick. So let's have a look. One heart, four hearts. You pass first. You get a spade lead. So playing the same. And now I guess he's jumped with the ace of diamonds. And his end played. Yeah, okay, so that's what it is. My Arjun played well, dug the ace. Same card play, what can you do? Four triple three. This is this is not an opening, although we have potential three on our tricks. The king is only maybe, and we have one less length trick than its standard. So pass and only invite. Okay, after hard, now it's, it's way better, yet still I prefer to invite and do I have Drury? Okay, I have the Drury convention, although I'm not using it in the real life. Should show some extra. About two no, can we end up three no? I like, I like the two no trumpet to describe my hand and let Barton decide. Uh, I don't trust Barton has a six card. Waiting bed. If Barton has a six card, I want to play free no. Okay. Because nine tricks seems a bit easier. Barton has five, four, three, one. So partner is lying. Uh, six. We are missing the four. This is a very strange lead, and very often this is a singleton, not for, not the lead from. This is not a lead from the king. So I prefer to win. If it is a doubleton, that can be strange. Yeah. So now we know that it seems to be a singleton. And hopefully West doesn't. Oh, okay. But the king is offside, and it's not. It's a free card, so that's fine. Good bidding. Oh, and 
trumps breaks badly. So playing the diamonds actually gave us tempo. If they lead a spade, it will be much harder because they will have the tempo to shorten me twice. And I will go down. Now, now I can just draw the trumps. And clubs are good. This should be good. 89%. Great score, top score, bidding the game, making the game. Everything sounds quite easy. And you see that they can beat the contract by shortening us down because the trumps breaks badly. One heart, one spade. 11 count and a fourth jack. Okay. This is a misfit. So being vulnerable, I actually prefer opponents to play unless we have free no. And I don't think that we have free no. So I think I'm passing and waiting for a reopen and make the decision later on. And maybe West bids two spades and then I would love to double them. Two hearts. Anything can be good. But the singleton hard, fourth jack, I have like two and a half tricks. Or three tricks, let's say, because the jack of clubs might help, if not the queen of diamonds. But the singleton is bad. Barton might have doubles and king of spades, and it might go spade, spade, rough. Uh... Pretty tricky. I think that the majority of players will bid a no trump with my hand. So I either might be playing against the field by letting two hearts play. Or maybe or maybe bid two spades. Ask for the stopper. Hmm. I'll go passive. In imps, I will try for a game, but in match points, I just stay low. Let's see. Okay, 12 is a minimum. See the ace. Uh, can this be a lead from the queen? I don't have any entries. definitely losing a spade and I will just duck pity singleton queen okay so 6-5 I'm very happy to play in two hearts but right now I might be in troubles. Okay, I need to score my six of hearts, right? Because I played only two rounds and West has three trumps as well. And I just have the ace of spades. If I play a diamond... They win. If they play a club, it's all fine. I think this is better. I just exit with the spade. Okay, singleton queen dropping. Now if they play a club it's good. If they play a spade it's good. Because now I have three trumps. Making and a plus score should be good. No diamond seven, unfortunately for me. Okay, the jack of diamonds was on side. So three no trumps is making, because I can establish diamonds. And E doesn't have a good entry. So three no trumps is the contract. 79% for being passive. See, going down from two hearts, three hearts. 
let's see the contracts the best was three no seven players made an over trick one made nine so that worked that's for a complete top score but i'm okay with 79 six boards seventh place 69 average i'm okay with that 18 count opposite and no trump okay so suddenly everybody will be in six no trumps but can we make seven and i see that we are missing only three top cards and three queens so it's three plus three partner might have like three plus two so that's 11 plus two queens is 15 and that's still a minimum um yeah but how to figure that out i actually need to ask for diamond key cards but i would like to know and actually maybe diamonds diamonds might be better if partner has a free card seven diamonds might be the best contract because i can rough a heart or rough a club if partner has doubleton i can be two clubs if partner bids two hearts maybe seven hearts on a four free fit i think two clubs is the best two hearts okay two spades is the strongest race no i need to jump to three spades hard fed i need to ask for the queen because if partner has four hearts i need to know about the queen of hearts four clubs so that's the king of clubs that's guaranteed so let's ask key cards two and a queen no two without the queen okay so now that's the problem we're missing the queen of hearts I might dump the heart on the club, but then it might be difficult to establish diamonds. So I did the maximum. I did the maximum. Okay. <laughs> That's a very friendly lead. Missing two queens. I mean this is this is really a terrible hand like 15 count but two jacks see only three plus one three primary values if partner has one queen instead of the jack well the hand wouldn't be better <laughs> i needed a doubles and diamond and then four free fit in hearts would actually works work quite nicely now i need to guess the club and West already had one queen. I can cash the diamonds first just to see if anybody discards a club. They both know they need to keep the hearts, but I'm actually discarding the hearts. two of spades eight of spades five spades with east four spades with west ten of hearts just for fun ten eight east seems to have more clubs Another option is to play the ten of clubs and if East doesn't cover play but I think um, wait East had only two diamonds, five spades. So he probably has four clubs. Probably only two hearts. But I cannot test the hearts. But West play the five 
So he has four. I need entries to the north hand. So there can be a doubleton queen with west. Uh, worst case scenario. Doubleton queen, no. Fourth queen. So I did it wrong. East actually had four hearts. So they were different. Unfortunately, I could finesse clubs both ways. And this is a problem. I got a favorable lead. After a spade lead, I need to guess both queens. So, should be okay. Average, I take it. Seven players guessed both queens. Six players didn't. So, 50-50. If that would be one suit guess, that's fine. But two suit guesses, uh, not a good, great grand slam. And I feel like I bid the best way. And if partner bids or shows me the queen of hearts, I probably would choose to play seven spades because I would expect to get a spade draft or potentially establish the diamonds if hearts split free free. Maybe even cross drafting the hand on a four free fit would, would be the viable uh, play. Whenever you are trying to reach a grand slam Try to count to 13 tricks. It's not bid, just based on points. Six no trumps is kind of similar, but you still have a chance to lose a trick somewhere to sacrifice establish a suit. So six is kind of much easier to bid uh, on high cards. Okay, right now. I have the super maximum, so I will super accept. I know that people do not like to super accept with a free card, but I have four and a half, jack of clubs and the doubleton, the ten of spades. I couldn't be stronger. Maybe Arjun has a better. I have actually two. Uh, I prefer North to ask. I have actually two super accepts. Okay, North invited to a slam, so we just ask. Or I just bid six, I guess. Two without the queen. Based on a hard or a spade finesse. <coughs> Let's go. I can get a diamond rough, so six spade seems to be better than six no. Let's see. Oh, wonderful lead. So that solves one problem. And then I need hard finesse to work. And then I need another another luck. Mm. This can be a standard lead. Yet it might be better to play a spade towards the 10. Because the club might be from a singleton. You never know. So if I lose to the queen and the heart finesse is on, maybe I can test the hearts first. Yeah. Because then it might be better to, yeah. Let's try the hearts. I can collect more info. Three and a six in diamonds. Okay, hard finesse is on, so that's good. So I can play, let's say, uh, safe now. And safe is playing spade towards the ace. And spade towards the ten. Actually, cashing the king also is not like that bad now. That's safer. Because if this guy has four spades, I hope to get a hard entry. Ooh. Ooh. Not good. <laughs> 
He's got the nine of spades. So, out of the club, oh wait, it's easy, right? Because East has the king of hearts. So, this is easy. Okay. So, East had singleton queen. Singleton queen of clubs. So it was good to play the king, because then if doubles and queen from west wins a trick, they get a rough. And I couldn't just catch the queen of spades. I always had to lose a trick. C12, 5-4-2-2. Yes, well, it was based on two or three finesses. Uh, it was very lucky, but it was kind of targeted, targeted um, gamble or aggressivity. So it was not uh, completely ridiculous because I super accepted to show maximum, partner invited to a slam, and you just accept. Okay, back, seventh place, over 70%, two boards to go. 10 count, ace, jack, two, four, six, eight. Uh, I don't mind to open two spades here. Okay, it's fine. Wow. I don't want to go down two. Partner covers only one loser. But the ten of hearts might help actually. Please give me one heart. Now I have an entry with the diamonds. Four card, okay. Cash one more round of clubs. Okay. Now I have a sure discard. No diamond. No hard. Okay. Thank you very much. I'm going down one only. Now let's hope that they have something. Do they? Three, four, five, six, seven. They have one no trump. That's not enough. They potentially might have three clubs. That would be enough. So let's hope a preempted well. 67. I'm okay with that. Pushed to four hearts and beaten. With two diamonds, multi, I guess. Yeah. Two diamonds, multi, double, two spades, four hearts. I understand four hearts I don't understand the double for the double uh, if it is standard you always want to have four free in majors so you can jump to four hearts like this it was like not that bad I mean if pardon take out double and I have singleton in opponent suit ace ace and fifth king I would be pretty sad to go down pretty sad One club pass, 15 count. I don't have inverted minor. So if I want to invite to a slam, I have to bid differently. I have to bid one diamond first. One spade, two diamonds. Two spades. So either partner has 4-4. Four, four. Now he must have 5-4. Five, five clubs, four diamonds. That means like a singleton spade. My hand is nuts. Doubleton king to a side suit. Five card fit. I'm not thinking about six clubs. I'm thinking about seven clubs. Right? But seven clubs is tough. I think six is enough. Okay. Well, not like a perfect hand. But ace, queen, jack provides two discards. So six is easy. Six is lay down. I can choose which suit to discard. I 
Yeah, I was always have to lose a spade or a heart, so I can just claim 12. That's it, because reaching the slam, I believe that's the jackpot. That should bring me 90% score, because people just don't don't evaluate these hands well. But three aces, doubleton king in the side suit, it's just nuts. That's really nuts. And see that just bidding an inverted minor, hearing three clubs, that wouldn't help. But now the two diamond bid just showed me everything. That partner has a semi balance hand. 95 percent score with basically not doing anything replying one diamond bid the <laughs> bid the slam cash 12 tricks from top while the majority of players playing free no trumps yeah one diamond free no i get it giving up 72 percent top 10 so far 80 wow 80 and 78 well these three players I mean, are they from the same city? Well, they're not. Oh, two are. Okay. 80 and 78. We didn't have it here for a long time. So it can happen. It definitely can happen. But normally 73, 74 in 10 boards, that's like the tops. Um, this time, could I do better actually? I had a lot of jackpots. Board number two. So board number two, I could actually uh, get four and a half percent. So that would be 77 percent. And then I can do one more. So. This tournament actually gives a chance to get 80% fair and square. Because you could just get so lucky to hit all the jackpots. As well this 6 no. Because in 6 no here... Yeah. In 6 no I could get extra 4% by guessing the queen correctly. And that's already over 80%, so it is possible. Yet, seven no trumps. Players, why don't we see... Okay, here we see the players. Seven no trumps. Okay, not even anybody from, from the tops. Well interesting anyway a great tournament a great score i hope that you enjoyed let's uh have a look on my friends list and um at this moment i'm leading nopala on picarek jacek there behind uh thank you guys for playing for joining peter here from the czech players uh at this moment at the tops and other viewers here above followers above 55 percent so great scores guys see you on Thursday but also see you till I will be actually uh, winning playing uh, those bridge clashes and the first one might maybe even go on the live stream if I feel well so uh, we will see, but that would mean that my opponent already played. So, see you soon, switch the channels, uh, let's get a short live stream after this video. Ciao.